Hi, this is Jasper, and I'm going to be giving a brief introduction into Builder. Now, I'm going to assume in, um, in Unity you've already installed it from the Asset Store, um, and you'll have a Builder folder in your Project folder. Uh, this will only add one uh, menu item to the menu, and that is to create a new Builder building under the Game Object menu. So click on that, um, and this will just add a Game Object onto, into your scene. Um, called New Building, uh, and it will give you the initial builder menu. So here we can see we have uh, four options. Uh, we also have online documentation, which just takes you to the website, and contact, which is uh, which will let you uh, email me. Um, so we're going to start off by creating a floor plan. Um, we have floor, four uh, four options here. We've got the first three, which uh, all create uh, an actual floor plan. Uh, the first one, you, we just have a square that we just plop down anywhere in the scene. The second one, we uh, will allow us to draw a square, much like um, modern uh, modeling programs. Um, and the third one will allow us to draw a square by picking points in this in, um, two, in sort of two D plane, like three D plane, two D space, uh, to create a more complex floor plan. Um, the final one, start floor plan from XML, allows us to import. Builder XML documents uh, in the export. We will see later on. We can export our buildings uh, into the XML format, um, text format for uh, whatever you need, um, and then this can be re-imported at this point. But for now, we're going to just uh, click on Start by Basic Square, and this gives us this uh, big square here. We can uh, see as we move around it goes to the mouse, um, and if we click somewhere sort of near the middle, that creates our initial floor plan. Uh, it's just a square, it's 20, 20 meters um, in each dimension, uh, and we can see see sort of the uh, markings here. You can turn the markings on and off if you need to. <coughs> so um, the first set of uh, buttons uh, refers to volumes. Now a volume is a sort of a predefined um, area of a floor plan which will have its own sort of height settings. Um, so if you wanted a building uh, with multiple heights, uh, multiple di uh, different kinds of floors, different amounts of floors, um, you will want to use that. Um, you want to define new volumes. At the moment we only have one volume. Um, and then uh, bottom here we have uh, three more options, volume plan modification, uh, which will allow us to change things about a specific uh, volume. So here you know we can we can split the wall and then we'll extrude it outwards like this. As you can see here when when we start doing intersecting um, parts. When when our points are intersecting, our walls are intersecting. It creates an invalid floor plan, um, and it highlights this with these red red lines for the walls, um, and that means that it won't work. Um, so we need to ensure that our floor plan is is a is a legal sort of floor plan. It's n nothing's crossing into itself. Um, so we just add this little extension here. But say we want to add like another volume. Let's just extend the wall across here. And that will create another little uh, volume. You can also sort of shift click to click multiple points and uh, um, bring them in. So we created sort of a basic floor plan. We'll move forward from there. Um, but let's go back to the top menu because um, when we created the initial square, it dumped us straight into this one, which is called floor plan. But we can have we have six options along the top here. The first one is floor plan, which is what we've been using so far. But we also have uh, textures, which allows us to define um, a library of textures that we're going to use in Builder. Um, we also have facades and roofs, which are two. They're fairly similar. They both uh, deal with creating designs that will be used on the facades or the roofs of the building. And it's in building that we get to apply them to the building itself. Um, along with a few other settings. Finally, we have uh, export, which uh, allows us to export our creations into um, various formats um, and, and in various ways. So let's click on textures. Um, and as you can see, that uh, starts off uh, rendering the building straight away. Um, we have the basic sort of building here. We can see there's only one uh, default uh, facade style and roof style, uh, a flat roof style added. Um, and there's no textures because we're yet to define our textures. Um, so for the textures, we can we, we can see here under texture we have three default ones set up: bricks, window, and roof. 
Um, and these will sort of allow us to get started. So let's uh, start selecting the actual textures from the ones that um, are included in Builder. Uh, so let's just add windows. Uh, <coughs> and we'll add a roof, just add some concrete. So you can see here, it's, it's, it's immediately added, uh, applied these to the building, but we can see these windows are completely wrong and the brickwork doesn't quite work out. Um, and with, build, with the Builder Texture Library, we have a few more options to look into. So if we look at the bricks here, uh, we currently have is tiled, which, which is ticked, and that's true because the, the bricks texture is actually tiled. It will repeat and repeat and repeat, which is something we want to take advantage of. Um, but also because it's brickwork, it also has a, pat a specific pattern. Um, so we want to tick that, and that opens up this second uh, texture, uh, texture pattern units. Um, so the texture units, uh, the texture width uh, and height here allows us to define the actual size of uh, the uh, texture in real world units, which is about one, uh, 1 1.6 uh, meters. Um, so that will sort of add, add it to the appropriate scale. Um, and then we have the unit uh, width and height, and this uh, allows us to uh, specify the pattern itself. As you can see down here, the texture patterns unit, uh, as we modify the, this unit height and width, uh, we, we basically want to line up the cross, this cross uh, thing to to make sure that one unit, one pattern unit. Uh, just do this for a second. We basically want to line up the brick texture so that it uh, lines up. With, ooh. All right, there we go, that's roughly right. I mean, obviously with this brick texture, it's a bit uneven, so we won't get it exactly. But um, as we can see here, the brickwork is starting to line up with the geometry. Now, the windows are slightly different because the window isn't a tiled pattern, uh, isn't a tile, isn't tiled, and therefore has no pattern. So let's untick tiled. Um, and as we can see here, instantly, the window uh, now covers the whole uh, UV. But obviously, it looks a bit stretched for these windows. Say we wanted to uh, tile, tile the actual texture, we can do this with the tile functions. We can add a few more um, tiles. Uh, and there we go. Um, so that sort of covers textures. Uh, we can add new textures and give them a new name. Um, and it's best to give a unique name um, so you can actually uh, edit them. So let's look at facades because um, at the moment we've just got one basic facade. Um, and in the facade design uh, column, we just have a default one. We're just going to have one for now. But we have all these different uh, settings that we can change. We can change the width of the windows, we can change the height of the windows, we can change the minimum spacing between the windows, we can have none. We can also do alternate spacing, which will allow us to uh, define sort of an alter alternate, uh, sort of an alternating spacing um, between these windows to, to give more complex patterns. <coughs> um, we also have the vertical space ratio, so um, this defines like at which point in the in the uh, floor that the window will be. We have sort of between zero and one, um, and that's basically takes up whatever left off space we have. Um, we also and then we have all the depth values. So by default, the window is is receded, but we can bring the windows in and out, um, and we can do this with the column row and cross depths. So the column is is basically the se the the surface of wall. Um, adjacent horizontally to the window, and the row is the the wall adjacent uh, vertically to the windows, and the cross um, is adjacent to both of those. So you can do some fairly complicated um, sort of facades there. Uh, let's sort of do that. Um, and then at the bottom we have um, we've got our texture details. So we've got all these different surfaces. We've got the column and the row and the cross textures. We also have the window uh, textures, and we can select those and actually select um, the kind of texture we want to apply to that surface. 
So the roof is fairly similar. Um, we have sort of uh, a lot more, but the, uh, with the roof we actually have specific styles because there are different kinds of roofs that uh, buildings might have. We have sort of a mansard uh, kind of roof. We have barrel roofs, um, which only work on um, volumes with four points. Um, and that's similar for gabled and hipped uh, and lean to. But steepled, um, I allow, you know, we can use for anything. Um, and you can create some steeples. Uh, and sort of also um, requires, uh, at the moment, it requires four, uh, four point volumes. Um, so let's just go back to flat. Um, you know, we can we can add the parapet, the small the small uh, building wall. We can remove that and have it um, a nice little detail. Um, like the facade, we can define we can define their textures based on different parts. Um, and then for for roofs that are say uh, actually inclined, we get values like the height, so we can change the height here. Um, or the man side, we get more, uh, slightly more complicated heights because well, the kite height will remain the same, but we have like a base depth and then we have the top depth and things like that. But basically, you, you, you kind of have control over for, for, over many things. Um, and with um, mansard roofing, we have dormers, um, so you can add uh, little roof windows like so. Um, and then finally we have the uh, editing the building itself. <coughs> so as you can see here uh, in the scene view under building, we have uh, an arrow in the middle of uh, each volume which allows us to specify the size of that volume in floors. Um, it's actually just a, a height variable and then um, we'll, we'll, we'll uh, go to the We'll try and fill in the maximum amount of floors um, that that height value allows. Um, but we can also, if we have multiple facade designs, we can select by facade. So down here at the bottom, it details which facade is which. So here we've got facade 5, uh, and we've got facade 5 selected. If we had multiple styles, we can add styles um, and specify how many floors. So you can create some complex uh, sort of facade uh, patterns with the with different styles uh, for different floors and it repeats uh, and so on. Um, and then at the bottom, if we have different kinds of roofs uh, that we want to implement, um, each volume you can select individually and you can select the um, the uh, roof design um, there. <coughs> we can also specify the floor height. So as we increase the floor height, we have less and less floors. Um, it averages at 2.2 um, and that, that deals with buildings uh, and then finally we have export um, an export will allow us to um, export our building out um, we can name what we want to export it as um, we can name it anything so I'm just going to name this test model we can choose to place the uh, model into the scene once we've exported it if we're exporting an actual model. Um, so say we're exporting a low LOD model, we can then place it in the scene, it will place exactly how our building is. Um, we can also choose to copy or not copy the textures that we're using into the export folder so that if you're bringing it to a different program or you want to send it to another project, um, these can all wrap up together. Um, and 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 uh, will work properly. So we got three different kinds of model we can export. Um, the export um, uh, the export pact will basically take the entire model, um, <coughs> uh, reduce um, reduce all the meshes down to a single mesh and reduce all the textures down into a single atlas uh, texture, um, so that the output building will be the same amount of geometry. Um, but it probably will reduce your texture um, texture definition, but it will create a building with one draw call. Um, the second uh, one, uh, unpacked model, basically exports the model we're seeing right here. Uh, each different texture 
creates a specific um, sub mesh. So here we're using three textures. So this building, uh, if we export an unpacked model, will be three meshes essentially. Um, that keeps the textures apart, so it keeps texture definition, but that means that we'll have three draw calls if you worry about that. Um, finally, we have export low LOD model, um, and what we'll do here is we'll, we will only export the, um, we'll, uh, the builder will strip out the, uh, the, the simple, uh, well, the complex geometry, so we'll have a simple model left, um, very low poly. Um, and then it will create a texture based on facade designs uh, so that each facade will actually be only uh, a, uh, two triangles. Um, but the, all of the information is captured in the texture. <coughs> Obviously, the texture definition will de decrease with this a lot, um, but the geometry will be extremely, extremely lower, a lot lower. Um, and obviously the texture size will be a lot lower. So that's ideal, obviously, for um, sort of uh, LOD um, usage. Um, and then finally, we have export um, data to XML, which will just spit out an XML file into the um, exported folder. All of this, um, by the way, goes into the builder exported folder. Um, it will chuck it out in there. So if we select our building and we'll export a low poly model, <coughs> it will take a while to uh, process in the background. Um, and we'll just let that run for a second. We want to overwrite any information. Um, it will then automatically uh, get Unity to um, ex re export anything we've just created. Uh, as we can see here, we've got a test model. Um, here's the atlas it's created, and our test model, which is a single mesh. Um, and then this is actually 683 triangles compared to the original uh, 4,000 triangles, so it's a lot smaller. Um, and as we can see here, we elected to put it into the scene, so it's actually in the exact same position as the original model. Um, here it is. Um, each facade has been crunched down. Um, the dormers and stuff like that are kept because they're fairly significant details, but things like parapets and window, receded windows and stuff like that have been chucked out. So um, there we go. That's sort of the, the basic overview of uh, Builder. Um, happy building.